Hi Pisces, welcome to this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Um, you might find it resonates more though if Pisces is your Moon or Rising Sign. Okay, so Spirit, what are the messages please from my viewers? So can we please tap into the energy of their person? What does this person want to say? What is this person thinking, feeling? What is their message please from my viewer? Okay, so they were busy, distracted, perhaps dividing time and attention, and it meant that they, you know, okay, two messages. For some of them, it meant that they couldn't give you something, even something small. For others of you, they were running, maybe um, trying not to face things that this connection was bringing up for them, whether it was because they were being triggered, there was some wounding to be healed, or um, they were afraid. Maybe this connection felt overwhelming, so they actively distracted themselves either way that distraction um is over they're not doing that anymore and i feel that, that for many of them they're going through a period now of introspection coming to realizations i'm seeing the tower card um, i'm hearing wow too little too late so that could be you thinking that or it could be them they could be thinking you know what if this is too little too late We have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel this is your energy here, whether you're an earth sign or not. Now they are seeing you as someone to take seriously, whether you're a woman or a man watching this, somebody who is very stable, very successful, um, very abundant. And it doesn't just have to be, I mean, yes, you might have material wealth, you might live a very comfortable life, but also your energy. Increasingly these days, I'm feeling that the King and Queen of Pentacles, it's stable energy which your person wasn't bringing to this connection. And now they're realizing, probably in your absence, again, if you're not communicating, there's obviously an absence there, but even if you're in a connection, if there's, if it feels like there's an emotional distance between you, they're seeing you as, you know, as having been humble is coming to mind, stable and humble. Do you see the peacock in the background? You know, his tail is down, so no one's really paying attention. And it's like the peacock knows if he was to step forward and you know really show the full um, sort of extravagance of himself, everybody would look and be impressed. And you knew this, perhaps other people you know, were interested in you, um, but you weren't interested and you held back. You, it's like you sort of stood back quite respectfully, you know, allowed your person to do what they were doing. And it got to a point where you thought, okay, if I continue to stay here, it's not me being patient anymore, it's me being a doormat, you know, so something had to change. And this change has made them realize. Yes, exactly, the Six of Cups in the reverse. It's like you're saying, okay, you know, let's draw a line onto everything that's happened and I'm willing to explore this moving forward, but it cannot be how it was in the past. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to make a return to this connection. I'm willing for you to make a return, but um, it's, it's going to be different this time. And your person's saying that they understand this. Yes, in the past, this person did not open their heart to you. They didn't show you their feelings, their emotions. It's actually possible that this person didn't know how and your connection triggered them to realize that there's an imbalance here there's some healing that needs to be done at some point in their life before you um either in a romantic connection or perhaps in childhood with a family member um, this person shut down their softer feelings their ability to receive care nurture from others and their ability to give that energy back um, as a form of self-protection and it's been fine. It's served them throughout life. They haven't felt vulnerable and maybe they haven't really felt the need to work on this to open up, but their feelings for you, their feelings about this connection it, are strong enough that this wound was triggered and this actually became a problem because they wanted to open their heart. Well, no, at the start they didn't, they ran, but now they do. Yeah, see, look at this, exactly. You had to pull back. But the only thing is, I think, okay, your person seeing you as this queen or king of pentacles, and I feel that you are, but deep down, 
there is still this feeling of imbalance and you're doing the best you can you know to keep things moving to focus on other areas of your life to to work on what you can but I just feel there's no denying that you do still you you sort of miss this person you wish this could be different and that's why you're saying I'm open to revisiting this but I can't go back I won't go back to how it was even if it means I need to figure this out by myself even if I need to get closure you know for myself by myself um, it's not going to go back to how it was I'm not sure your person is seeing this imbalance I think they're they're seeing you as being happy confident strong um, I'm not sure they know that, that there's still something here you know deep within it's, it's kind of like you found a way to continue to carry on you've made a space for this but not everything is uh, is perfect Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, tell me about this Two of Pentacles. So, either you are, well, very busy, but um, either you're indecisive about something, or your person is saying that they feel that you're deciding something. So let's see. What's this Two of Pentacles, please? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. What's this? The Five of Swords in the reverse. Gosh, and the Ace of Swords, lots and lots of mental activity here. Okay, so two things. Your person is seeing you as having accepted this is a loss. It was a painful ending. You've stepped away. You're not thinking about this anymore. You're no longer going to engage in arguments or conflict with them. And you found some sort of truth here. And that's what you're sticking to. You know, the truth, the reality of the situation. And you expect truth from them. You know, if there's further communication here. Um, also, I do feel for you, you know, um, yes, there, there was a painful ending here. Something happened that was very difficult. But again, I'm seeing you're not completely healed. But you... You know, it's like you're 99% of the way there, but there's no denying it, it does still affect you. You know, even if you are awakened, you are strong, you are moving forward. Um, you know, maybe maybe you just kind of need an apology from this person or to hear them say, OK, yes, I messed up or I should have done this better or I should have appreciated you or, um, you know, my behaviour wasn't personal, something like that. OK, so let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, this person thought that right at the start, or, you know, for a long time, they felt that they were the one completely in control of this. Um, it, it sort of made them panic. It freaked them out to think about getting more involved with you, with this connection. They might have felt like they were going to become trapped, tied down. Perhaps they have a fear of commitment. Um, or they simply met you at a time when that's not what they were looking for. Um, but their behavior, it's like they um, spun a web for themselves that they got tangled in and no one else got tangled in this except them. And now they realize that behavior was very low vibrational and the, effect, the effects of it, you know, have become very burdensome. We have Pisces energy here and actually I've been looking, we have the moon and the moon twice. So strong water energy, lots of intuition, strong Piscean energy. You may be dreaming about your person um, if you aren't, then I feel that they are definitely dreaming about you, not just because of the moon, but I've been feeling it strongly throughout this reading. I'm feeling astral travel, um, lucid dreaming, sending each other messages intentionally through your energy or simply picking up on each other's vibration here. Let's look at this page of pentacles. A high priestess yes they gave you nothing in the past and you were left wondering am i crazy am i making this up do they feel the same um have they have have has their feelings have their feelings changed um are they ever going to talk to me you know lots like i said lots of mental activity yeah this person you know they may have been ice cold in the past and what's really cold and savage is that you saw them working on things with other people so you knew that they were capable of this energy this energy of commitment of working as a team a pair building something showing up in a stable way but they weren't giving that to you 
Exactly. And look what it did to your confidence. It knocked it. It knocked you off of your throne. It made you doubt yourself. So you thought, okay, let me step away from this. We have a third party energy here with the devil. So it doesn't mean that there was another person. For some of you, yes, that's the case. It, but you'll know about this. Um, but this toxic behavior, this third energy could be self-sabotage. Um, addiction it could be uh, a particular behavior a particular way of thinking but yeah you know we have two threes it was like it, it was you it was your person and something or someone else in this connection and you were probably watching them investing either with this other person or other thing that they were doing um and it's like you said okay enough this is too painful Okay, so tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. How does this person see my viewer? So we know they look at them as a king or a queen of pentacles, but can you tell us more, please? How does this person view my viewer? Yes, as having released possibly them, but certainly the situation as it was, because it was no good. You know, um, you just weren't getting enough here, and they were being very closed off. Yeah, the Page of Swords. So it, it's like as things were, there was something that was kind of uh, like a fantasy here. Maybe you were trying to ground this, but it, it felt like an illusion or a fantasy that would never come into being, never come into fruition. Also, if you were trying to ask them about something, or to get some kind of information or clarity or answer, you know, how do you feel? You just weren't getting it. This person doesn't know what you're doing. Yeah, the Age of Wands in reverse, they would love communication, but, you know, you're not reaching out to them. Um, even if you are, it's not how it used to be. And they're wondering, it, can they rescue the situation? Can they do something to, um, you know, draw you back in to get your interest again, to fix things? Or is it is it completely done? Is it completely over? They're hoping with the Tower in reverse that they can do something here. Um, they're not sure what they're thinking about this. Do they know that there's still some pain, there's still some hurt, some imbalance, please? Does this person know that my viewer isn't 100%, you know, fine? The Three of Swords, yes, okay. I feel that they, you know, the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse, that's to me saying yes, but at the same time we have justice. That's throwing me off because that doesn't... Why would it be balanced? Why would it be karma that you would feel pain unless this is them? Let me see. Tell me about justice. Or you got over that because you you detached, you got into a head over heart space because you were saying this isn't right. I need to find my balance. And they think you've done that. Oh, this is making sense. They think you managed to do that, that you've shut them out of your heart space. But the truth is you haven't completely, but you might be giving off an image um, or you, the way you're behaving shows that, that you've achieved this. Tell me more please about justice. Yeah, so, okay. Goodness, again, the moon. This person knows that you are disappointed in them. They know that for sure. You lost hope, you lost faith. You, you knew, they knew that this was a soulmate or twin flame connection. Um, their behavior let you down. You know, and you, you kept holding faith and maybe you still have faith now and hope, but it's been difficult. It hasn't been easy. And if you don't feel this way at all, this is what they're thinking. Yeah, there's something here. They, they feel that you maybe have woken up to their games or um, you're being, you're seeing things much more clearly now. You're more in this king or queen of swords energy than cups or pentacles, you know, with them. There's no more illusion. They can't pull the wool over your eyes. You know, you, seeing the upright with this card, see how we have a cat here. And when we turn it around, we get a panther. They're seeing you now, you've grown, you've learned from this. You've become wiser. You're much stronger. Hmm, okay. What's on the back? Yes, <laughs> strength. And it wouldn't be one of my readings if we didn't have Leo energy appearing. Okay, although to be fair, today we've been strong with the Pisces energy. So let's have a look and get some, um, some of these messages to see what they want to say to you. 
So can we get messages please from my viewer? Okay, so let's get three of these. <laughs> I will come back for you. Mm, and they're trying to figure out how. Yeah, because they're afraid. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. Because they don't really know where they stand with you. They're seeing you, um, you know, in a different light. They're seeing you behaving differently. And also I think there's a fear because they're understanding how much you gave in the past and they were in their ego or they didn't see the value of it. And, and you know, I think there's embarrassment, there's guilt, there's... I just heard, oh shit. So, um, yeah, a, a feeling of given how I acted, how do I turn this around now? Okay. Yes, and we will be together again. There's a lot of determination here. See what's in the middle, though, some fear. So I think once they overcome this fear, they're fully intending to, to reconnect, to make things, um, you know, better between you. So for many of you, I feel that you might be in complete separation here. If you're not, there's a real um, focus on repairing something or making something better closing a gap between you, whether it's geographical, emotional, um, any kind of gap, even if it's a gap in terms of your way of thinking or your perspective. Okay, so I will leave it here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Like I said, if you want to book a reading, the link is below, but my wait time's a little bit longer. Um, also, we're going to do the one question, one card reading. So if you want to leave your question below for Friday, please do. Um, otherwise, if you are going, take care and I'll see you then. But um, let's do the let's do the second part. OK. Okay, Rachel, thank you for your question. So, Spirit, Rachel C would like to know, does he love me? Okay, so does he love Rachel, Spirit? I did just see the Ten of Cups and it was in the upright. Okay. Does he love Rachel, please? Rachel C. Does he love her? Can you give us a card? <clears throat> okay, that's way too many. I'm seeing good signs though. The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. I did see the Ten of Cups flash up. Oh goodness, we'll take them then. Wow, oh my goodness. Okay, Rachel, he feels a deep love for you, a deep sense of connection. The Six of Cups is soulmate energy here. So it's like, it's a love that it's not just, um, it's not sort of surface level or it's it's not just this lifetime. It feels like a deep recognition. Like he's when he's with you or meeting you or speaking to you, he's tapped into a familiar love, a love that, you know, it carries across lifetimes. And we have the Emperor, Aries energy, but the divine masculine here. So, um, there are some very strong feelings here. And if I had to say yes or no, I would say yes. Like I said, the Ten of Cups, that's another Twin Flame card. And I saw that as I was shuffling the Eight of Wands. So he probably wants to communicate this to you. He's passionate about you. He'd like to be with you, to travel, to see you. Um, what else did we get? The Ace of Pentacles. So he actually wants to ground this in this lifetime. So that's really good. I'm actually a bit relieved because um, can you imagine <laughs> if it was a no or something horrendous? But um yeah, okay, awesome. So that's a really good outcome. Provide, you know, I'm assuming you want the answer to be yes. Maybe, you know, I don't know. He's a stalker and you hope he disappears forever. But anyway, yes, yes, he does, it seems. Okay. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you on Friday and we will look at what's hidden in this connection, um, whether it's 3D based, 5D based, something that's coming in, something you should be aware of. So we'll just have a look and see what spirit wants to bring your attention to that you might not be aware of at this time. I'm hearing blockages as well. So any blockages um, preventing something you're manifesting or preventing faster movement here in your connection. Okay, take care, bye.